I love your energy. Oh my gosh. Okay. I should give my crown more respect. Everything is possible for them. Baby, I can... <laughs> Baby, I can tear this, this lobby up. Monday, April 1st, and welcome back to Carmi V TV, my side of the tube of you, because it's the tube of me, where I share a little bit of my life, a lot of the time, amen, if that's something you're interested in, I would love it if you stuck around, watched to the end of the video, subscribe, and if you've been here, you already know what to do, let me know you're tuning in, in the comments, yes, right now, like, and let me know you're tuning in, okay, okay, so it's Monday, guys, um, I just finished, we just uploaded the video, so we got the weekend vlog up. <sighs> just uploaded it. Probably, y'all need to be safe. Like, That's me. I finished it. Um, just uploaded that. Then did all my announcements on stories for this morning. Put the vlog up, LTK link, YouTube links, all of that. Because we back on our... We back on it, y'all. We back on it. The end of the month. <clears throat> it's gone. We back at the beginning of the month. I just told y'all I was going to put more water bottles in the refrigerator. I still didn't. So what I'm not going to do now is head to the gym. I did not wake up early to go. And that's not going to be an excuse. If I didn't wake up early to go, I still need to go. Oh, snaps. So we're moving our body this month. Um, like I said, I'm about to be traveling a lot in Jesus' name. And also, I just feel like everything is about to pick up. And I know when I'm traveling, I eat good. And baby, I'm not happy with the scale right now. I'm not happy with the scale right now. So I had a banana this morning. I had some cereal. So I'm about to head to the gym and get a good workout in. And um, that's what we're doing this morning. And then I'll get back here and I'll decide, I'll decide what it is I'm doing. So let's go to the gym. Hey y'all, hey, it's Editing Carmi here. So this is a part of the video where I do an intense Bible study. So it's a pretty long clip. If that's something you're interested in, I will hope that you would continue watching. Even if it's something you're not interested in, watch because I think you may understand what the Bible says about anxiety and what we're supposed to do with worry. So I've been making it a point to go downstairs and actually have like a Bible study with myself. So that's what this is. Um, I did do another video on um what was that wednesday's upload just dedicated to this the clips are not the same i did record twice but they have the same message so if you already watched that then this is pretty much the same thing but if not i would love it if you watched it but you know editing carmen gotta let you know what's coming up so this is gonna be a big chunk of the video so love y'all see you soon hey y'all welcome back to another day in the weekly vlog it's tuesday um i decided before i went to the gym I wanted to come down here and just give guys some time, like really give him some concentrated, concentrated time to concentrate on his word. Um, last night, Kanisha and I, hey, Kanisha, if you're watching this, we were talking and she said, she sent me a scripture. She said, hey, I want you to read Matthew 25 through 34. I didn't have my Bible out at the time, so I didn't read, read it before I went to bed last night, um, but I knew I was going to read it today. And so I got my Bible and stuff like that, and I want to read it to y'all. I'd already had this scripture highlighted, but I'm going to read it in its entirety. So if you are dealing with anxiety, if you have like anxious thoughts, if you worry, if you got a lot of stuff like in front of you and you don't know how, what, when, how it's going to all make sense, you need to listen to me read the scripture. And not because I'm reading it, I pray that you hear the Spirit of God speak through you, speak directly to you, to your circumstances through me. Um, and this is the Tony Evans Study Bible. As y'all know, I swear by this Bible. And um, it titles this passage 25 through 
34, it titles it, The Cure for Anxiety. Therefore, I tell you, don't worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Isn't life more than food and the body more than clothing? Consider the birds of the sky. They don't sow or reap or gather into barns, yet your heavenly father feeds them. Aren't you more worth than they? Can any of you add, aren't you worth more than they? Okay. Aren't you worth more than they? Can any of you add one moment to his lifespan by worrying? And why do you worry about clothes? Observe how the wildflower, wildflower, wildflowers of the field grow. They don't labor or spin thread. Yet I tell you, not even Solomon in all of his splendors was adorned like these. If that's how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and thrown into the furnace tomorrow, won't he do much more for you? You a little faith. So, I underline that word so. I underline that word so because what that means is, based on what you know from what you just read, take that into account. So, don't worry saying, what will we eat? Or, or, or what will we drink? Or what will we wear? For the Gentiles eagerly seek all of these things and your heavenly father knows that you need them. Like, you ain't talking to somebody that don't know. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness and all of these things will be provided for you. Therefore, don't worry about tomorrow because tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. So I pray like after I read that Bible, because what I want to start doing is actually like praying God's word back to him. And I do it. I do it sometimes, but I just want to make it a point to do it every time I pray. So I had put prayer. And based on the scripture that I just read, this is my prayer. Thank you, Lord, because your word is true. Because, I mean, how can you not go to God with thanksgiving after reading something like that? You know what I'm saying? Like, thank you, God, because your word. Thank you, Lord, because your word is true. What can worrying about my life add to my life? I can't add one moment to my life by worrying. When I seek, when I seek the kingdom of God first and your righteousness, everything I've worried about and so much more will be added to me. Your word can't return to you void. <clears throat> your word can't return to you void. I accept this as truth for my life. Thank you for, for providing. Sorry. Thank you for protecting everything concerning me. Thank you for, for perfecting everything. My writing a little sloppy. Thank you for perfecting everything concerning me. I trust you with my life. Help my unbelief. In Jesus' name, amen. There was a passage in uh, Matthew where Jesus was going to heal this man's son i believe and i'm paraphrasing and the the man cried out like if you can do this like if you can like please and jesus was like if i can you know what i'm saying like do you believe that i can do this because i can, it ain't about no if i can do it and the man said i do believe but help my let's go to that scripture actually because i want to read that hold on it said matthew i know Matthew 9. So, this is where Matthew 6, just a few verses out. I know I got to highlight it. Okay. Okay. Nope. Okay. 23. Okay. So, a girl restored and a woman healed. Um, so, there was a woman who had been bleeding for 12 years approached from behind and touched the end of his robe. We know this. Um, for she said to herself, if I can just touch, his, touch the hem of his ga garment, I'll be made well. Jesus turned to her, have courage. Your faith has saved you. And the woman was made well from that moment. When Jesus came to the leader's house, he saw flute players in a crowd lamenting loudly. Lamenting is another word for crying. Leave, he said, because the girl is not dead, but asleep. And they laughed at him. After the crowd had been put outside, he went in and took her by the hand and the girl got up. The news spread to the whole area. Um, one second, that's still good, but there's something else I'm missing here. <laughs> Cause I feel like I highlighted it. Um, okay, so I, I, I'm sorry, I was wrong. It's not in Mark, Matthew, I thought it was, it's in Mark. Mark chapter nine, that was still good, okay? How is that just still on brand? Matthew chapter 9. Okay. 
So the power of faith over a demon. So basically, um, there was the unbelieving generation. Um, you know, Jesus asked, how long has this been happening to him? Jesus asked the father, like, how long has he been possessed with this, with these seizures and this demon and all of that? Um, the man said from childhood and many times it has thrown him into the fire or water trying to destroy him. But if you can do anything, have compassion on us and help us. That it was that if Jesus said to him, if you can, everything is possible for him. Baby, I can, <laughs> baby, I can tear this, this lobby up. It's something about seeing those words and the comfort that God's word brings you right and then just to for these people back then that were actually experiencing his miracles you know face to face i know some people still didn't believe but for those that did i just can only imagine right um he said but if the man said but if you can do anything have compassion on us and help us jesus said to him if you can everything is possible for the one who believes Immediately, the father of the boy cried out, I do believe, but help my unbelief. Hmm. When Jesus saw that a crowd was quickly gathering, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to it, you mute and undeaf spirit, you mute and deaf spirit, I command you, come out of him and never enter again. Then he came out, striking and throwing him into a terrible convulsions. The boy became like a corpse, so that many said he's dead. But Jesus, taking him by the hand, raised him and he stood up. After he had gone into the house, his disciples asked him privately, why couldn't we drive it out? And he told them, this can come out by nothing but prayer. I read all that to basically, for one, that was for me. That just fed me. Um, you know, there are going to be times where you asking God for something and you believing in him to do something and you may have some unbelief and this scripture lets me know that that's okay you know that's okay to have some unbelief you know because that's what this man he was honest with God about it like I do believe but can you help the parts of me because I can even believe 99% but that 1% where I don't believe can you help that or I can believe 90% that 10% where I don't believe can you help that I can believe 80% that 20% 50% that 50% I believe, but there is, there are, we do deal with doubt. And I think Jesus, God, he's big enough to deal with our doubt. He's big enough to deal with our honesty. He's big enough and strong enough to deal with our uncertainty about things that we may be dealing with. And we have to boldly go to the throne and say, look, I believe, but clearly my son has been dealing with this since he's been a child. You know what I'm saying? It's been trying to kill him, throwing him into the fire and the water. If you can do anything, it's almost like Jesus was like, watch your mouth. You know what I'm saying? Like, if anything, everything is possible for the person that believes. And that's why so many times, y'all, we, we talk to people, even we may talk to ourselves, and we our own self may talk ourselves out of something like, I don't know if that's pop. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. Watch your words. Watch what you are letting come out of your mouth. The Bible says, out of the same mouth, blessings and curses come out of them. That should not be so. Either you're going to bless your circumstance or your situation or you're going to curse it. There's no in-between. There's no in-between. So it's like when you're praying to God, when you're talking to other people, that's why sometimes you may not even need to be talking to certain people about it if it's going to cause you to have that doubt. Only believe. Only believe. Anything is possible to the person that truly, truly believes. Let me go ahead and read that scripture for y'all. Out of the same mouth comes blessings and curses. That's in James 3.10. I love James. I did, when I did my Bible review, it was on James. Um, James chapter 3, verse 10. Blessings and cursing come out of the same mouth. My brothers and sisters, these things should not be this way. Let me see if Dr. Evans commentates on it. So James is not writing the world. This, this is a book to Christians specifically, right? Um, he's exhorting Christians, reminding them that their mouths are polluted. After singing hallelujah, some families started tearing each other down before they even departed from the church parking lot. If criticizing, gossiping, and swearing come out of your mouth, the content of your heart needs to be addressed. Right? So, 
again, watching your mouth, making sure that you aren't speaking against the things that you say you believe. Because do you really believe it if you're speaking against it? So in this prayer, um, I'm going to put James down too. James 13. Just being cautious of your words. Like, it's so funny because growing up, you would hear people say stuff like that and you'd be like, it's not that deep. Like, I'm just playing. But our hearts can't decipher, you know, what, what what's playing and what's not. I think there's a study about that. So you just got to be, you just got to be careful. And you got to really take everything to God in prayer and then seek his kingdom. Seek God's kingdom first. Seek it first. I'm talking to myself. Don't be crying if you ain't been seeking. Like, you know what I'm saying? You ain't been seeking God. What is you crying for? What is you complaining for? And there may be times where you still seek and God may not have given you an answer, but at least you know you have that comfort in knowing, like, I'm seeking you. So if it's not finished, if you're not done with it yet, okay, then it's not good yet. So I just have to keep praying, keep believing that you're going to make good on your promises. But I'm talking specifically to myself and those that may be watching this, complaining, crying, and you haven't taken anything to God in prayer. You know, there's just comfort in doing this. There's comfort in, in praying. There's comfort in seeking first the kingdom of God. There's comfort in knowing that literally his plans are not to destroy us. It's to bring us about a great future. You know, that's what Jeremiah 29, 11 tells us, like understanding that if I seek Christ with my own, with my whole heart, I'll find him. If I knock, the door will be open. You get what I'm saying? Um, knowing that anything is possible if I believe, like that, those are comforting words. Understanding, understanding that I may have some unbelief in a certain situation, but I can bring that to God too. Like he wants all of that. That's what his word does. And I'm just talking to myself as I'm, you know, talking to y'all. Yeah. A living book, baby. How many times have I, and I text Kanisha and I told her, I'm like, I, I got that scripture highlighted, but that's one of the scriptures you probably could read every day. It's that good. It's that good. Um, don't worry, y'all. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all of these things will be added and provided to you. Let's see what Dr. Evans commentates below before I let y'all go. Um, he says, for many of us, the admonition to not worry about your life sounds just as impossible to obey and don't breathe. Worry and anxiety over life are commonplace. But to this, Jesus said, in effect, when was the last time you saw a bird with an ulcer? Birds don't worry about where they're going to get their next meal, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Flowers don't agonize over looking pretty, but not even Solomon, Solomon in all of his splendor could match the beauty in the fields of God's creation. If God gives this kind of attention to birds and flowers, won't he do much more for you? Just trust him. How do you know if you're putting God's kingdom first? You got to ask yourself this question. When I need guidance to make decisions, where do I go first? For many Christians, God is like a spare tire. He's the only, he's the one they run to when all else fails. So do you seek God's perspective first through his word and through godly counsel? Or do you seek the world's perspective? Kingdom Christians appeal to God's view and his righteous standard first. Do this and all these things will be provided for you. Align yourself with his agenda and your daddy will take responsibility for meeting your needs. Focusing on living for God's kingdom today is the antidote for worrying. Mm. Dr. Evans knows he knows how to say some stuff, Donnie. So I hope that blessed y'all. It just blessed me. Um, I feel led to share it. Um, yeah. God wants us, he wants us in all of our worry and all of our unbelief and our doubt. He wants all of that. Bring it to him first. Um, yeah. Love y'all. <laughs> okay, so I'm in the gym now. I decided to go ahead and just do a video, like a dedicated video to that scripture um, because it was on my heart to do that. And so if you're watching this vlog, you may have, you may have watched that video already. Um, like that clip, but it was on my heart to just put upload that for tomorrow's dedicated video as well. Um, we'll sit down. So I'm in here. I'm stretching now. I'm gonna get me a good workout in, and yeah, I am excited.
I'll be taking this hair down soon, probably tomorrow. Taking this hair down, so yeah. So I decided to come over to Chick-fil-A really quick and I'm gonna go inside and eat. I'm on the phone with Rudy. Um, just wanna take my time and I feel like I'm rushing. So that's what I'm about to do right now. I always would say that. <laughs> Thank you. It's okay. Yeah. See, that's what I was saying because the girl was like, if you told you, I said, I don't trust you. God is giving me, I'm not gonna wait. This joy deep down inside me, I'm not gonna shake. Been stressed for so long, so stuck in my own way. So I'll enjoy this moment. It's the day that the Lord has made. Hey y'all, hey, it's me again. Um, I ain't gonna tell y'all what time it is, it's just know it's late in the day. It is Wednesday. I'm supposed to be leaving early in the morning Wednesday. House ain't together. Dishes ain't washed. Laundry ain't. But it looks like I'll be up all night doing that. Um, I'm down here. Because I know I've been making it a point to come down here. I don't know if I like the exposed light down here to actually read my word. And then I'm gonna go to the gym. Then after I do that, I'm gonna feed my dog figure out what I'm going to eat tonight, and then I'm just going to be up, okay? I'm just going to be up. So I thought I would start the vlog. Y'all may not see me a lot. I've, it will be probably get more interesting as I get on the road. I don't know. Like, yeah, I'll be on the road tomorrow, so maybe that'll be more interesting. But the goal is to still give y'all the vlog by Saturday morning, so prayers on that. But, yeah, that's what we're doing. Just want to pick y'all up and let y'all know what time it was. See you later. Hey y'all, so I washed my hair, um, so now I'm on my way to get some McDonald's real quick, um, so that's one thing, last thing I have to worry about, I don't know if I told y'all, I'm getting some braids, so I rarely ever go to Arkansas without my cousin doing my braids or getting some braids from Aisha. So since I'm going to down to Blago, Jonesboro that way, I'll be getting some braids. My skin looks good. My my edges, I'm a little bummed out. My edges still are just not strong and grown out. So I probably will have to resort to like wearing the middle part. I really wanted to wear like a high ponytail type vibe. I really did, but I just, my edges are just not there for that, honestly. And that's okay, like I said, hopefully keeping these braids in and no glue or tension on them, like that will help them to, cause that's the only way outside of just wearing wigs. And y'all, I get, I be over wigs so fast, like so fast, I really, really do. I just be wanting to wake up and something is on my head. So um, yeah, I'll see if my cousin can, we can do some camouflage work. If we can, it's fine. Like I just put a middle part in, a little swoop or something like that. Call it a day, cause it's just, for me, I just don't want to be in my head. Um, I'm just saying, because I haven't had to have, like, I haven't had braids on the perimeter of my hair in so long. I haven't had braids in so long because of my edges. And they just, they just aren't strong enough for it. They really, on this side, they kind of really ain't there. So, um, I've been keeping a, a um, an album in my phone, like, each month. So, there are some follicles that are still there. Like, I don't think all hope is lost, or at least I hope it's not. But, um, yeah, we, 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 we gotta work and see. Um, so, yes, I am about to get some different McDonald's, as y'all see, real, real quick. And get back home, probably start putting some loaves in. Like, I'm gonna be up all night. I've already just reconciled that in my brain. I'll be up all night. I really need to... 
I really wanted to head to Little Rock, leave the house by like 5 a.m. I don't know if it's gonna be 5 a.m. So y'all, uh, um, if you want to grow on social media, you gotta stop starting your video. So yeah, um, I'm trying to see, can y'all see? Y'all really can't tell on this side, it's grown back, but this side, y'all can see like, it's a little space right here where they still trying to grow. And then there's a spot, a little, y'all can't try to see. There's literally like a little spot that's still struggling. It's struggling to grow back. And that's okay. Like I said, it's okay. I hope, you know, hold on. The Lord let me see it. The plan is to cut my hair back off for 30. So, um, see, I'm just passing somebody some stitch braids. She did my braids here in Dallas. I want some of those braids so bad, but you need edges. Like, I don't have edges. I'm like them folks that the girls be talking about. Like, I do not have them at all. I'm working on it though. My hair is so fine, so I should, I need a break. No. Can I have a hot and spicy McChicken? A hot and spicy with extra pickles. We'll add pickles and make that extra pickles. And then I would like a large French fry with no salt. Um, a four count chicken nugget. Uh, you can do a four count. Two barbecue, please, for the four count. And then, um, can I have two apple pies? Um, That'll be all. Is the screen that I'm looking at, that's not this, my meal, right? Yes. Okay, and then can I just go ahead and get a small Sprite too? Yes, that's all. Okay, thank you. The skin looks good, you know? This is me in my natural state, okay? Carmen B. Smith in her natural, natural, no nails, no nothing. But anyway, like I said, I'm just happy that I'm not gonna have to do my hair. My cousin gonna slay the braids as much as she very well can with me not having no edges. And then you got a small Sprite, four-piece nugget, hot and spicy, with pickles, two pies, and a large Yes. So it's 13.25. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm, I have no doubt in her ability, but you really know when somebody's slaying your hair, when you can look at them, like when you pull them braids up and you see, but we ain't gonna be able to do that. We ain't gonna be able to do that. And that hurts, that hurts, that hurts. But I can't be mad at nobody but myself. I do not take care of my hair. I have not been taking care of my hair. Thank you. And because I'm used to having short hair, I don't really care. I don't be caring about my hair and I should do better. I should give my crown more respect. But then also, I've never not had edges. Like, as much as my hair has always been fine. And I've got some work to do. Don't judge me, trigger warning, don't judge me. But yeah, I just gotta do better. It's that them quick weaves and that glue. I got to do better. I can't even be mad about it no more. I can't even be embarrassed about it either because it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just the way it is. I had some cane sauce the other day. Good day. I kept it in my refrigerator. I wonder, my fries sometimes don't make it all the way home with me, so they may not make it. Okay, so I saw, I got on a scale and I am down three pounds. Mm -mm. Excuse me, ma'am. This fight, mm -mm. no, no, no. Oh. And y'all know McDonald's probably usually good. This they need to change it out. Oof.
I hope I wasn't rude, but ooh. Change that be a Chick Fil A. We just have to change that um that setting and stuff. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I'll probably do my eyebrows when I get down there and give them a give them a little archy arch. Y'all see my little puff? Can y'all see? It's a little. Okay. I'm literally like. I just can't believe. You change it. Oh, you don't have a Sprite? No, sorry. No, what do y'all have again? What do you have again? Fanta? Yeah. Which one? Fanta? What you say? Uh, what size? Uh, what kind? Is it strawberry? Um, high tea, Fanta, uh, Is it an orange Fanta or strawberry? Is it orange? Oh, no, do high C. High C, fruit punch? High C? Fruit punch? Okay. There you go. Ooh, I really wanted this. I wanted that. I wanted that today, but that's okay. That's okay. Come on, Skinner. 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 Come on, Sk Ugh. Ugh. I would have preferred if this was the strawberry. I mean, the fruit punch. Okay, thank you. Matt? Excuse me, ma'am. I don't see my nuggets and then three barbecue. And these fries are salt on. Mm hmm. And my four count nuggets. Yeah, I always hit this problem. Man. We gotta stop thinking that we've been. Thank you. You too. We gotta stop thinking that we've been difficult for asking for what we want. Cause I was just about to say, dang, am I being difficult? But as long as you're being nice and not rude, you have to ask for what you want, especially when you pay for it. Like that's me talking out loud. These fries definitely have salt, but they fresh, so I'm not gonna complain. See, this is the second time I asked for my pepper on this vlog. I'm tripping. But anyway, y'all know I don't really eat with y'all, so I'll let y'all know when I get home. We'll talk. Hey, y'all. Uh, it's late, but who not gonna get to unwash sheets? A dirty house is me because I'm gonna be gone too long to come back to a house that's just not together. Sometimes, like when I'm not gonna be gone that long, I'm not gonna say sometimes. My goal is always to make sure the house is clean, but like if I don't wash my sheets or something like that, like I can live with that. Or if I don't mop the floor, I can live with it. But like when I go for a certain length of time, like when I'm staying more than like three days. I don't want to come back to have to do anything to my house, especially because like as a content creator and stuff like that, um, I have to get back to work as soon as I get back home type vibes. So, and my work requires stuff to kind of be in order. And then outside of that, you just feel good when your stuff is just in order. So, um, I am putting, I just got these out the dryer. I'm letting the comforter dry. This is always me. I always, Wait till nighttime to wash stuff like this, like my sheets and my um, comforter. I don't know why. It's just something I, I've made a habit of doing. So, washing this and then um, I'll vacuum the floor and stuff like this already. I don't know if I can really see it. I'm already vacuum the floor. And then I just, um, I need to go to the, finish the bathroom, cleaning it, packing my makeup bag. I'm not gonna need flat irons, thank the Lord, cause I'm gonna be getting some braids. So just packing my makeup bag, my toothbrush, all my hygiene, my soap, cause 
and my toothpaste. Cause my papa, one time I went to Blavo. Child, he had some cinnamon toothpaste. I was so mad about that. I'm like, this ain't like, baby, I didn't like that at all. So since then I've started to pack, when I go places, I take my toothpaste now too. So pack all of that stuff. I'll be staying with my cousin tomorrow night. Um, after I drop Benji off. So that's the thing. I'm dropping Benji off. And then I'll be continuing to Blot, well, to Jonesboro because my cousin is going to braid my hair and she now lives in Jonesboro. She used to live in Blobble, which was, you know, where my grandparents live. Jonesboro is about 45 minutes away, so not that far. But she lives in Jonesboro now, so I'm going to just stay tonight at her house because she blocked off her whole day for me on Friday because y'all know I like my braids very long. So she just went ahead and blocked the whole day off for me on Friday. So that way I don't, I'm not driving on Friday, you know, like I'm like just resting. So, um, and if she wanted to start my hair, if she felt like it, she could, if she, you know, if we just want to catch up, we can do that. So, yes. Deja is my cousin. Her, excuse me. <laughs> I feel like Deja been on the blog before, but her kids definitely been on the blog. She made my grandparents great grandparents. So her daughters, Gigi, um, that's the oldest great granddaughter. And then Milani is her other daughter. And then I have another cousin down there. Her name is Nisi. And she has a daughter. Look, I'm just giving y'all my whole family tree. I don't know if I should be doing all that. But <laughs> basically, I have cousins that's in Jonesboro. So I'll be with them probably. Um, and then I'll go to. I'm going down there for my mom's best friend's birthday, so I'm helping them get content. So that's what I'll be doing. And that party is Saturday, and then after that, after Saturday, then I'm going to spend the rest of my time with my granny and papa, and they are in Blavel. So I'll start off in Jonesboro, which is about 45 minutes from Blavel. And there's no point of me going to Blavel and then having to come back to Jonesboro. So I'm just going to stay in Jonesboro. So I do all I have to do down there and then go to Blavo probably Saturday after the party, Saturday night, and um, spend the rest of this time with my granny and papa. So that's what I'm gonna be doing, just so y'all can have like a rundown. Cause y'all probably won't see, y'all have to come back to the Monday's upload, the weekend vlog, so y'all can see like how everything, you know, went, kind of put the pieces together. Okay, so. That's that. Got that together. Kitchen is gonna be last. I got my. I'm probably gonna have to pack. I got two suitcases. So the party is an all black theme. So mix all these up. I don't know why the flash is on, but um, some of it is folded. I just put this stuff on top. Like this is just random stuff. But most of that stuff down there is like folded and stuff like that. I'll fix that. That's all black stuff. These are forget my sports my um sports bra for working out. But this is all just like throw on clothes, like stuff like that. So throw on clothes, you know, night clothes, stuff like that. The black clothes and the dressy clothes for the actual party. And then and this is like my pajamas, my lotions, um, my makeup is gonna go in here, all of that. So gym shoes. So I'll close these bags up probably literally in the morning before I leave, but I just have everything how I want it out here. So as y'all can hear, the washer and stuff is still going, which is fine to me. Like I said, I'm about to come in here and get this bathroom, start putting stuff together and cleaning up, packing my makeup bag. That way, like I said, cause I'm not doing any makeup. I probably won't do any makeup until Saturday to the actual party cause child be getting my hair done. And I'm going home, like I, okay. If I'm not go, if it's not an event, if we ain't going to church, Kind of like here, I don't, I don't be just doing my makeup unless I have to do some content, like, you know, so. Anyway, that's that, I took the trash out. I let one of the bags stay out so that they can take it out. And then I just have a box that I'm gonna take down to myself tomorrow. So that's that, I'll get up in the morning and clean out the car because y'all know Benji's going with me. And I don't want him to have to stay in his cage the whole ride to Little Rock. Um, so our ride is only going to be about four hours, four and a half hours. His ride to Little Rock. So not too, too bad. Um, and then I don't want him to have to be in his cage the whole time. So I'm going to like set the car up 
try to put his car seat back up. He's destroyed it. Try to figure out if I can salvage that, put it back up for him. If not, just make the pillow and stuff like that in the front seat so he can be comfortable while we ride and make sure he's eight, you know, his regular time in the morning. I still don't know what time I wanted to leave. Like at first I was like 5 a.m., but I'm like, there's no rush. Like there's no, I have no reason to be there that early, you know. And LaBelle was like, don't bring him. I'm trying to look at him and no dog on nine o'clock in the morning or whatever. So actually it's a home is, child, it's about a, Yeah, it's, yeah, home is a little ways away, which is okay. And Blavel is even further than that. Jonesboro is even further than that. But this is why I don't make that drive that often. So when I do make it, I have to, because y'all might be like, do you need all them three bags? Yes, because y'all know I work from home and I work remotely. So if I do decide to stay, the only reason why I'm not going to stay as long as I really probably would is because my dog and Lavelle and his mama, they're going to be in the city. Listen now, we told you the weekend. We ain't tell you can be going, you know. So, but um, like I said, I am, I'm excited. Like, I'm really excited to go home. I almost got emotional a little bit thinking about the fact that I could see, like, my mama, my sister, my brother-in-law, my papa, my granny, my uncle, my cousin. Y'all know Rudy down there. So y'all probably will see her on the vlog at some point. Like, get to see Deja, get to see Michaela. Like, I get to see my family, Nisi, and my auntie, my uncle. Like, just so many people all in one. And it's, it's rare that this happens because rarely are we all kind of like in the same space. You know, like my mom is going to be, we all going to be like down that way. Of course, I, I see my mom when I go home because she's in Little Rock. But I'm saying like, we're all going to be. I get to see everybody in the same place this weekend. I don't know if that's, that's making sense. Y'all probably have to understand the proximity between Blavel and Jonesboro, but basically we all gonna be within 30 minutes of each other. And y'all know with me staying so far, um, it don't weigh on me as much. Cause I know I'm down here. Like I gotta, I gotta get to it. But like I said earlier today, I did kind of get, I was getting a little emotional just thinking about like, dang, like, all we have is the present, right? So just the fact that Lord's will in my reality this weekend will be that I get to be with my all my family, well, most of my family, not my dad or whatever, but like most of my family that I haven't seen in a while, it, it means I'm happy about that. So I'm, my heart is already kind of full. It's always full going home, but it's full. I'm not gonna need this thing for a long little while, okay? But yeah, my heart's full. I'm excited. Um, y'all see my mama on there. Y'all see Eureka. Like I said, somebody gonna try to have me doing their makeup or something. If I, if I know them. Y'all see my sister. Like I said, y'all know my sister. She don't really be want to be on the blog all the time like that. Um, the internet, she a teacher. You know, I respect her profession. My mama, she'll get on there. She'll get on there. But everybody not like me as far as wanting to be on the YouTube, the tube of you all the time. So that's why y'all may not see certain people as much as y'all see others. Um, like my daddy, don't play that. He's not gonna be on there like that. My brother, they not really like, that's not their thing. And so I, I've had to learn to, to respect that, you know? And when I say I've had to learn, I've had to learn. Cause baby, I'm gonna pull that camera out. But some moments I just have for me. So that's why, that may be why. My papa, I don't know. It's just almost like, <laughs> I ain't gonna say he don't have no choice, but he just, he just understands. And he just, and not even that they, everybody else don't. He just not gonna say too much. Like his life is very public as well, like with him being a pastor. So I just think he just be like, child. But my granny, like say my granny, for instance, she's not going to let me put her on camera any other type of way. Never, ever, ever, like ever, never, never. Like me get on here like this, my granny would probably call out, baby. She's not going to, she don't play this. So y'all y'all will not see her as much as y'all would probably see my papa. Like even when we all FaceTime and stuff, sometimes I'm not showing y'all my granny. We Y'all can hear her, but y'all probably don't see her type of. So again, it's just learning respecting people and their preferences and stuff like that and 
you just got to like it ain't nowhere around it um so like i said but this weekend shoot sure, we all gonna be at least my mom and my sister we gonna be dressed up for sure or like we should, so they should be all right i don't want to hear no mouth from them no playing but um yeah so let me get this bathroom together i'm about to pack my makeup bag sanitize everything sweep the flow mop the flow um then move to the kitchen and that's gonna be it oh my gosh i cannot believe i'm about to be gone for my who lord i love leaving like i do love leaving but baby let me tell you by day by day three i'd be like oh lord i miss my house but when you don't get to see your family like me like i don't really sorry i don't really get to see i don't have the luxury like i enjoy watching people who have their families like close with them like it makes me so happy because i'm like oh all y'all are like y'all are in such close proximity like that's such a blessing it makes me so happy um so i am going to back this vlog these vlogs may be three hours i don't know they may be three hours long washing my dog's blanket because it's not his blanket it's really my blanket but he be all on my stuff um but yes, yeah, so I'm gonna put these loads in and y'all probably can't hear me. I will see y'all in the morning. He's the last person again. Okay, okay, y'all. Lord Jesus, I had to make a stop, pick up some for my cousin Rudy, and I'm looking crazy. I know, child. I know, but I'm gonna stop at Bojangles real quick, and we about to get on the road. My dog right here next to me. I got every, he got his cage back there. If he start getting on my nerves, he will go there. I've never had Bojangles breakfast or nothing like that, but we just gonna try it today. Okay. They said they feed breakfast until two o'clock. So let's Good morning. See. Thank Good morning. You Jangles. My name is Tashika. How can I help you this Hi, morning? Hi, Tashika. I would like a. Ooh, this is my first time having y'all's breakfast. So I'm just oh, looking really? at them. Yes. Uh, okay. What? Do, you, do you eat pork? I don't eat pork. Good, girl. Okay. So the number one <laughs> is the bomb. Okay. 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 <laughs> well, okay. I asked that before I ran down into the choices and the selection. Okay. Again, you know what a sausage tastes like. You know what bacon tastes like. Okay. But a breakfast chicken biscuit is something different. Okay. You know? Yes. I'm not just saying that because I work here, but it is it is awesome. And like I said, going to some place, I know what bacon tastes like. Yeah. I know what sausage tastes like. Do that chicken biscuit. Do that number one. Okay. And when you get a chance, you come back and try our number eight. It's like the big brother to the number one breakfast. You okay. Yeah, I I love your energy. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, thank you, boo. Yes, do number <laughs> one. And it, do y'all have hash browns or something? We do. They are called bow rounds. They bow rounds. Really yeah. Come on girl. now. Got a little onion in it. It's really really. Oh good. my God! Today. Yeah. All right. Okay. Do y'all have any like what juices? Do you have apple juice at all? But now you know what. Now, girl, if you doing something to me, all right, we okay. don't have apple juice, okay? But okay. it sounds so good. I have orange <laughs> juice and I have lemonade, to sweet tea. Okay, I'm gonna do a lemonade today. Do a lemonade, all right. Now, would you like to do just a regular cup, or would you like to make it a large cup, and oh. then you'll get a large bowl round too? Go, you know what? Let's go ahead and do the large. Let's go ahead and do it, girl. If everything is gonna look, you ain't gonna get tired of none of it. I'm telling you. <laughs> okay, and then <laughs> can I have jelly and ketchup, please? Yes, you can. What kind of jelly would you like? I got grape jelly and I got strawberry jam. Please, uh, grape. Grape. How many would you want? I would like two. Two. All right. Okay. Now, can I interest you in any bowberry biscuits for a breakfast dessert or no? No, not today. All right. Will that complete your order for you? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Can I have your name? Carmi, K-A-R-M as in Mary Y, Carmi. Okay, Carmi. That's different. Thank you. Thank okay, you. Okay. Come on to the second one. The 1005 is your total. Okay. Thank you. Uh -huh. Oh, I love her. I love her. Okay. I love her. Okay. Second one. 
I've never been. Girl. He's a boy. A boy? Look at him. He just I know. Him. Look, he knows somebody talking about him. <laughs> he just so knows. He gonna get a pup cup. Tommy, here go. Your Thank you. you. Get a one, get one free sausage biscuit on there once you complete the survey. Okay. My name is Mama T. Let me know how you. Mama T. Service. I will. Thank you. Okay. Oh, yeah, he's never had a pub cup before. Because I don't really take him to, we don't do Starbucks or nothing like that. You know, a treat for a dog, uh, uh, whipped cream. I hope it don't mess his stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Oh, napkins, okay, yeah, because he look like he ready to, yeah, he look like he ready to get down and dirty, okay? I appreciate you that. Day. You too, thank you. But here go your pup cup. There you go. Ooh, he like it, y'all. He like it. <laughs> All dogs love it. You know, Starbucks, they known for this. Oh, you love your whipped cream. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Enough, enough. We don't have no water for you, but oh, he like this, y'all. That's gonna be his treat. I'm gonna save some for later, okay? Okay, good boy. Good boy, yeah. Good boy, yeah. I'm trying to wipe his mouth, baby. She, she asked me, I want a pup cup. Now, that was nice of her. No. Y'all didn't do that for him, did y'all, Lavelle? Ooh, this is real lemonade. Jesus. It's all right. I mean, I just wasn't, I wasn't ready for that. Oh, uh, she didn't. Mama T didn't give me my ketchup. Hold on. We got to go back. No. I'm sorry, Mama T. <laughs> Huh? Uh huh. You know how I do it. Mama T. Huh? Y'all, so I'm in Little Rock, my stumping grounds, baby. And I am recording right here because I'll never forget when I got my first car, my Ford Focus 2001, baby. It was this right here child i don't know i didn't know how to drive when i first got a car y'all so i didn't slow down fast enough and was almost all the way over there so every time i come home i think about that like and that's been so many years removed so many years baby this house right here this castle growing up baby we all wanted to live there now as an adult as an adult it's a hex note for me but the bus uh, my bus route used to be to pass that and we always be like oh we want that house we want that house it's just uh, so big the biggest house it's the only house like that really over in this area so that's so funny but baby i don't want to live in no spooky castle like that yes it's giving spook to me yeah john barrow baby <laughs> holly home but always rapping ain't that what the kids say it's funny because growing up my sister we so funny like we definitely are night and day in a lot of areas but she <laughs> this is john barrow is a hood apparently you know like it's a hood i don't know if people still do that baby she told me like it's when they ask you where you from at school she taught me how to throw it up y'all like literally she told me like when they ask you what block you from you say the 1300 block and i'm like okay like <laughs> Baby, you gotta know my sister to know, baby. She wasn't playing no games. And no one ever asked me. And I never really just claimed it like that. Cause that was just, I just never been that type of person. But baby, John Barrow, okay? John Barrow. Mama used to say, y'all is not from John Barrow. Y'all are not from John Barrow. Technically we were, we are like, but mama was not with all of that gang and stuff. And when my sister would be trying to teach it to me, my mama just shake her head like, what in the heck? <laughs> anyway, I'm almost to LaBelle's mama house. Drop him off. Get some gas. I'm going to keep driving because I'm not going to take no nap. I told my papa and I was going to take a nap, but I'm not. 
there's no sense. Like I literally only have about three more hours to go. I just want to get there, get to my cousin house, lay down when I get there. Cause taking a nap here, baby, I, I'm wanting to wake up and miss the appointment tomorrow. That's just how it goes. Okay. Oh. oh, hey. Just dropped him off. It is 3.52. My dog don't care about me. He didn't even run to the door when I left. Like, he knows who they are and he loves them. LaBelle Mama was so happy to see him. She got him some toys. Like, I feel good. Like, I feel good. I was a little sad. Like, oh my fuck. But I feel good. Like, he's good. He's in good hands. So, um, yeah, he's in good hands. So, I'm about to get some gas and head to Jonesboro. So I should make it there. <laughs> Maybe like 7.30, give or take. So that's what we doing. Okay, so it's not gonna be three hours. I just put her address in and it's actually under two hours. So I don't know. That's crazy. I didn't know I was gonna make it there early. So that's good. I'm making great time. Okay, y'all, so I made it to Jonesboro, Arkansas. I'm about five minutes from my cousin's house. Y'all, I'm so glad to have made it. Thank you, Jesus, for angels and for protection as I travel this long way. I've been on the road since about, excuse me, I just, I'm drinking a Sprite. What, 10, 10.30? And it's 6.10, so, but it wasn't so bad because I got to stop in Little Rock just for a second so Lavelle sent me a picture of Benji and his mama they sleeping in the bed oh I almost shed a little tear he just missed them like you can tell he knows who like when I say them I definitely mean his mom because he just saw Lavelle but also seeing Lavelle and his mom in that environment because that's where he lived you know like that's where I picked him up from and I vlogged that process so Oh, I didn't pick up, I left my phones in the car when I um, got out because I wanted to let, let him use the restroom and stuff like that. So I left the phones in the car, but y'all should have seen how he was running around that house. He went straight to Lavelle room. He went straight to the downstairs area where he know where he eats. And like, he just knew, he knew, he knew. I'm just, I love that for him. Like, it makes me so happy because I'm like, yeah, you're, you're good. But you, do y'all want to keep him? Because y'all can't look. I'm gonna keep him for about, I didn't have him for seven, eight months. Y'all wanna keep him for seven, eight months? Oh, it's gonna be weird because, like, literally for the last seven, eight months, he's been with me every single day. Like, I've had him every day. So, ciao. All right, I'll talk to y'all when I get to my cousins. Hey, my honey. <laughs> Hi, my lady. <laughs> What you doing? <laughs> I miss you. <laughs> you got so big. <laughs> this is my cousin Gigi. Uh, I say hey to the YouTube. <laughs> Good morning and happy Friday. It is nine o'clock. I am sitting here editing the vlog, so hopefully y'all can get it Saturday morning. Um and yeah my cousin she just went to the hair store and i am upstairs while she do that so i can start on this vlog y'all so i made it i slept so good it's her big bed oh, i slept so good um literally so so freaking good um so i'm ready to get my hair braided so i can get on camera and start doing some things my babies my cousins y'all saw them yesterday they were so happy to see me i was happy to see them um hold on. got an email so yeah i just want to check in with y'all let y'all know i made it safely last night we watched uh this series called uh dara daria from detroit or diara from detroit some of diara from detroit we did that we ate us some fish um yeah we just talked all night so that's stuff that you know i didn't record but i could just tell y'all about today so yeah now we'll be getting my hair brighter see y'all in a minute okay y'all i'm in the chair about to get my hair braided baby my cousin right there got the youtube and yes that's what we're doing y'all <laughs> 
going? Ow, girl. Well, you can get your lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a preacher's grandkid. Of course, I know how to shop. Thanks. Of course, I know the the door. The door. I think every time I come here, then I got some curtains. But they didn't know my food. Two o'clock, girl. Five o'clock in the morning. The conversation got boring. <laughs> Hey y'all, so I'm gonna end the vlog out here. Yes, I know, this side is not finished. You got to come to the vlog on Monday to catch it because I want to make sure that I get this vlog up and ready for y'all. So I'm excited. Y'all can clearly, y'all see the vibes. I mean, please, y'all see the vibes. If I do add another clip, it won't be me talking. It'll just be a little time lapse. So thank you guys for watching. This is the start of the family content, the family weekend. I will see you guys on Monday. I see these braids they are like to my thigh okay to the back of my thigh actually yeah thank you guys so much for coming back to carmy b tv my side of the tube of you because it's the tube of me amen and this is where i share a little of my life a lot of the time i hope you enjoyed this vlog and if you're new here i would love it if you subscribed commented below liked the video and if you've been here you already know what to do let me know that you was tuning in it's saturday morning y'all we got to dip these braids and i got to get active so i will see you guys on monday love y'all